So, what's the largest living creature on Earth? Say it with me, the blue whale. Right. Wait, who said purple whale? Uh, I think you need to adjust your screen there, pal. Too much red. But anyway, is this blue behemoth the largest to have ever inhabited this planet? And is it really the biggest, baddest kid on the block today? More on that later, but first, just how huge is the current reigning champ of the world? Given that the average blue whale at 80 to 90 feet long is just shy of the length of a professional basketball court, which is 94 feet, I'd say it's pretty big. Or imagine 17 adult divers swimming one after another. Okay, you get it, this thing is long. But what about its weight? Well, if you can get 2,000 of your closest friends together, then you all might be able to weigh as much as a 150-ton blue whale. This thing's head is so big that 50 people could fit comfortably while standing on its tongue, which itself weighs nearly 6,000 pounds, or a 3-ton tongue. It's got a 1,300-pound heart the size of a Mini Cooper, and you could easily crawl through its arteries. And if you could somehow fill a blue whale's body full of water, you'd need 7 semis hauling almost 8,000 cubic feet of the stuff. But if you think that at birth, blue whales are just as huge, heh, you're absolutely right! When a baby blue is born, it's already bigger than a hippo. At 25 feet long, their 3-ton young can even weigh more than an elephant. A little baby blue whale drinks a whopping 100 gallons of its mom's milk every single day. That's what helps them gain about 200 pounds a day. And you thought your winter weight was bad. Hey, on the other hand, this diet is almost nothing compared to how much an adult blue whale eats. They devour 4 tons of food a day, in the form of approximately 40 million krill. These tiny shrimp-like creatures are the blue whale's main food source. Marine biologists explain that there are several reasons why blue whales grow so massive. First of all, they live in the ocean, so their playground is pretty much endless. With nothing really stopping them, they can grow and develop to this mind-blowing size. Besides, you might remember how weightless you feel when floating in water. Whales experience the same thing. Actually, unlike you or me, this animal can't rely on its skeleton. Its bones wouldn't be strong enough to support such a huge body on land. But in the ocean, the water's buoyancy helps these giants stay afloat. That's another reason why they can grow as massive as they want. Well now, I mean, whale now, it's pretty clear how this marine mammal has earned the number one spot for the biggest animal on the planet. Surely, there can't be any other creature bigger than the blue whale. Well, that's true if you're looking for this contender today, and don't call me Shirley. But if you go back to dinosaur times, then it's a whole nother ballgame, my friend. Until recently, the Argentinosaurus, yep, that's her name, lived around 90 to 100 million years ago, was considered the largest dinosaur to have ever roamed the surface of this planet. This species was discovered in 1987 in, guess where, Argentina, hence the name. The length of this colossal herbivore could reach 115 feet, and according to different estimates, his weight was from 73 to 85 tons. Naturally, these dinosaurs were pretty slow only reaching a top speed of about 5 miles per hour. And it's no wonder they weren't in a rush. Imagine carrying all that weight around every day. Scientists still haven't figured out how these enormous animals held their necks up, whether vertically or horizontally. The problem is that in a vertical position, its heart would have struggled to pump so much blood 40 feet up into the air and doing that up to 60 times every minute. This story started in 2012 when researchers found some fossils in southern Argentina. The creature was dubbed Patagotitan maiorum, and experts said it lived 100 million years ago. According to their estimates, the average length of this giant was a whopping 122 feet. That's as long as a Boeing 717 commercial jet. Its shoulders alone were 20 feet off the ground, which means this is about where a giraffe's head would hit if they were standing side by side. The researchers concluded that its skeleton was 10% bigger than that of an Argentinosaurus. Patagotitan's weight was initially estimated at 85 tons, 
which did make it the most massive dyno ever. However, after the most recent weight estimation of 76 tons max, the Patago Titan quickly lost its heavyweight title. Still, both of these dinosaurs were enormous, and they were definitely longer than a blue whale by a long shot. But the catch is that the blue whale would easily outweigh not just one, but both of these prehistoric creatures at the same time. So in the end, the blue whale is still technically Earth's largest inhabitant ever. But if you really want to get technical, there are plenty of living beings today that do outsize the mighty blue whale. The largest living thing on Earth doesn't move or hunt or anything. And that's because it's a tree. Hey, plants are living things too. Hyperion is a coast redwood, also known as Sequoia sempervirens. This California native was found in 2006, and it's a staggering 379 feet tall. That means this tree is way taller than the 305-foot Statue of Liberty. What's even more incredible is that this 600-year-old giant is still young and growing. However tall and impressive Hyperion is, there's another world-famous specimen that may fit the title of the biggest organism on Earth even better. It's a giant sequoia that goes by the name of General Sherman. This tree is about 2,000 years old, but its species, Sequoia dendron giganteum, typically lives for over 3,000 years. That means the general is still pretty young. Its height is just 275 feet, but the most breathtaking thing about this tree is its girth. Even though scientists have measured only its trunk without the branches, it's still got about 52,500 cubic feet of volume. That's more than half the volume of an 88,500 cubic foot Olympic-sized swimming pool. Also, if you tried really hard, you could squeeze seven blue whales inside General Sherman. But I'll bet they wouldn't like it. That's why you'll probably be surprised to find out that even this giant sequoia isn't the biggest living organism on Earth. Particular honey fungus that grows in the Blue Mountains of Oregon might hold the title. Imagine 1,700 football fields spread over an area of 3.4 square miles. That's how big this fungus is. There's a fungus among us. And although it may sound incredible, it could be from 2,400 to 8,700 years old. But don't expect to walk into the Blue Mountains and see a giant mushroom terrorizing the state of Oregon. The only bit you'd be able to see is small brownish mushrooms on the ground. But even if you take a usual mushroom, what you see is only about 10% of the whole deal. The biggest part is hidden from your eyes underground. While ordinary mushrooms feed on dead plants and fallen leaves, the honey fungus is a parasite. It's really harmful to the trees growing nearby because it attaches itself to their roots and feeds off of them. Unfortunately, this process slowly but steadily kills the trees. And if you have doubts whether this fungus colony can be considered an individual organism, don't worry, it passes the test. It fits the definition perfectly because the fungus consists of genetically identical cells that communicate, coordinate themselves, and have a common purpose. According to rough estimates, the weight of the 3.4 square mile humongous fungus could be up to 441 tons. It's definitely got the blue whale beat. So it seems the biggest living being on Earth is the honey fungus. Huh, wait, what's that? We have another contender? Well, all right. Looks like we've got one more tree entering the ring. Only it's tens of thousands of them. The Pando Quaking Aspen Colony, also known as the Trembling Giant, consists of 47,000 genetically identical clones. They grow from a single underground parent clone and behave as one organism. This enormous colony weighs 6,500 tons and covers an area of 106 acres. Admittedly, the trembling giant doesn't spread as wide as the honey fungus, but just look at its enormous weight. That's where the situation gets a bit controversial. Should the largest living organism in the world be the heaviest or the biggest? Well, the U.S. Department of Agriculture decided not to open that can of worms and instead just proclaim both the honey fungus and the ponda tree colony the largest living organisms on Earth. There, everybody wins. Hey, you with the purple whale, 
Did you fix your screen yet? Anyway, which of these living organisms do you think deserves the title of the biggest on the planet? Leave your vote in the comments below. Remember to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of Life!